Hi everyone, welcome to this Western Culture and Tradition channel. This is one of the videos for the, um, basically the Norfolk, Emma and Anthony's Norfolk barn um, renovation. And what I'm gonna do is talk about pointing today, repointing. Now what's happened is we've got a couple of cracks that have appeared through the, the wall. You can actually see it down here. Somebody's fixed it before. It's just some cracks there. But where it's cracked through a brick, uh, we're stitching the outside, but this is the inside. It's going to be covered with plasterboard. So we've put some metal rods in there with some really strong adhesive. When the metal rods are spiralled, which means if there's any movement, they will hold on to each other. So what I'm going to do now is just show you. This is my first go, my first um, ever go today at repointing. So I've just done a wall over there, and I'm just going to so I'm filming the second one. So what I've done is I've put it. Um, I've put a mixture of PVA glue and water in the crack there, so it will the cement will really, you know, adhesive. What's the word I'm looking for? Have an adhesive, if you like, an adhesive element. Now, remember, we've been doing bricks since the Roman times, I think. I'm not quite sure if bricks are older, but at least since the Roman times, in Western culture and tradition, we've been making bricks, and people for 2,000 years have been repointing bricks. I've got to do this with one hand, so I'm not going to show you because I don't have a film like that. Uh, Emma's at work, unfortunately. So I've got my trowel. Now you get a cement mix. If you don't know what your cement mix you need, just, you know, look online. It's easy. It's a four in one, but they're easy enough to get. What we're doing is we're going to be putting that into there like that, and that is going to be dropping back into the bowl. And you use the back. You always use the back of the trowel to get in there. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this while bloody, uh, what's the word? Wow. Film. So you just move along like that. You scrape upwards to catch it. And you put that in the next bit. And you scrape upwards and catch it. You move that in the next bit. And you just keep going like that. But I'll turn the video off now because it's very difficult to do while holding it one handed. So I've used the bucket below to catch it. You push it against the wall, especially these soft buckets. If you get a soft bucket, then you can pretty much push it against the wall and it flattens against the wall and then it, oh, it does it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm basically. I'm basically using the trowel, I'm going edge up that way and I'm doing that, yeah? There's a couple of things that I'm getting caught on. You get rid of that and you catch whatever's left on there and you can either reapply it or throw it back in your bucket like that. Now, it looks pretty messy at the minute. It looks pretty messy, so you can see that, but just give it a minute, let it dry. I'll go on to the next one and um, you let me, and I'll show you how to clean that up. So slowly push them on, but the rest are caught in the bucket. And what you want to do sometimes is pull that up Get it off and then put it in at an angle and then go inside at an angle and you'll see it goes a bit deeper in. So you're slightly angling the blade like that and pushing it in and up so it scrapes off inside. Instead of going flat on, you want to get little bits, push it in, scrape up, then get a big bit and push it in. Right guys, uh, it's not fully dry yet, but what I'm going to show you is this. It's a, this is not, a, it's not vastly hard, but it's not soft, it's a wire brush. Now what you don't want to do is go that way. If you go that way, it'll dig in and dig it out. And when you're going up there, you don't want to go, basically don't follow the line. So this way, you need to do it that way. Yeah. And for that one, you need to go that way, like that. Yep. And then basically, as long as you're not digging in, just, you know, get it there. And you can start to pull this off, any excess, excess, sorry, not excess, like that. Now what I'll do is I'm going to do all up there, do that there, and I'll do everything. Ooh, I've got a little nubule because that's the hard resin we put. I'll chip that off. I'll get off when the camera's done. And then what I'll do, it starts, as you can see, it starts to clean up and then it'll dry off. Imagine when that's dry there, that's just fitting with the rest of the brick and that's pretty much it. And when it's fully dry, you can give it a wash down and then a final brush. So as you can see, I've brushed that down now. So this isn't full repointing, if you know what I mean. We're just filling bits of cracks in. So uh, I'll just show you where, I, where I'm up to. But what I did is I accidentally brushed too deep, wrong way that way, so it's gone in too far. So I need to re-put it against there, let it dry and brush. So let's see. But uh, that should then hopefully dry and dry in and look like it's always been in the wall. Okay guys, all finished. So you can see up there, which we pointed, it's obviously still wet, so you can see a dampness, but you won't in the end. But just while I take you around the building, this is mine, and so this is Emma and Anthony's barn reconstruction. There's a playlist, so uh, I will try and link the playlist below in the description or the pinned link. But if you want to support me in this channel, I'm the author of um, The Ultimate Unofficial Guide to the World of Tolkien. So uh, that'll also be in the link below. If you click it, 
will absolutely uh, go towards the payment of this build. So basically, get yourself a copy if you love Tolkien. I've done all that side. I've got to put the bars in there. I've done all that there and that there. There is one crack here that we're going to have to might build a buttress or put um, a support on. So basically, and this is it's cool in it. So the rules will be going on soon, hopefully. So you should be able to see that. But basically, this will be the girls' bedrooms. But do guys, if you want me to sort of finish this barn, <laughs> it would be nice if you bought copies of the book because everything obviously goes to keeping this going, subscribing and all that. So um, enjoy. And that I've filled in around there. Everything is sorted and a couple more in there. You can see it's starting to dry off. No, I didn't. That's Paul, my stepfather, uh, not my father-in-law's crack. That's mine. Professional builder, first ever time doing it. <laughs> That's the difference between me and him. <laughs> you'll probably see this one day in about two years. Get really annoyed. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you'll see the band finished if you subscribe.